Hi, the objectives of this recording is to show you how to use Microsoft Word 2007 Mathematics Add-in to integrate a function, to evaluate an expression, and to solve equation. To download the Mathematics Add-in, you can Yahoo or Google search Microsoft Word 2007 Mathematics Add-in and then you will find the link and from the Microsoft Download Center then you can download the add-in for Word 2007 I'm going to model a population growth using differential equation I'm going to illustrate how to use Microsoft Word 2007 mathematics add-in to solve this equation here is the example Initially, there are 500 fruit fries in a jar containing sugar syrup. The population n of fruit fries at time t is given by dn dt equal to 3 minus t e power t over 2. The first part of the question is to find the formula for n, the population of fruit fries at time t. We know that dn dt is equal to 3 minus t e power t over 2. Therefore, n is equal to integration of 3 minus t e t over 2 dt. To do this integration, you need to know how to do integration by part. However, Microsoft Word 2007 Mathematics Add-in can do this integration for you. Let's call up Microsoft Word 2007 and do the integration. I call up my Microsoft Word 2007, click Mathematics Add-in, then click Equation, and now I'm going to enter an integration. So I click Integrate. I'm going to select the integration without limit. And enter the expression 3 minus t and then enter the e power x script here enter e power t over 2 then move down and type dt after you finish it really you can click compute and then there is a option for you calculate so I say calculate so you find that this n is c plus 4 e power t over 2 plus 3 t minus 2 t e power t over 2 so let me write now n now is 3 t minus 2 t e power t over 2 plus 4 e t over 2 plus c so what is c now initially when t equals 0 and equal to 500 so we know what is c now by putting t equals 0 and n equal to 500 let's use a microsoft word 2007 mathematics add in to find out the c so with this equation i click here i'm going to enter 500 equal to c plus 4 times let's click mathematics again equation i'm going to key in the multiplication sign multiply change the t to 0 since initially t is equal to 0 times 3 plus 3 times t where t is equal to 0 so that is 0 actually then times t equal to 0 times e power 0 over 2 compute now the mathematics add-in is intelligent enough to know that you're going to solve for c so I click solve for c 
tell me c is 4, 9, 6. So I know that n is equal to 4, 9, 6 plus 3t minus 2t e power t over 2 plus 4e power t over 2. This will give me the population of fruit fries at time t. But t is in terms of days. Now, let's look at part 2. We want to know what is the population of the fruit fries after 5 days. That is quite easy. You put t equal to 5 into the expression for n equal to 4, 9, 6 plus 3t minus 2t times e power t equal to plus 4e t over 2. And then you will find that n equal to 5, 1, 1 minus 6 times e power 5 over 2. Unfortunately, this is what the Microsoft Word 2007 mathematics add-in will give you. It doesn't give you the numerical value. So you'll need a calculator. Just to illustrate how do you use the Microsoft Word 2007 to evaluate n for t equal to 5. Let's go back to my Word 2007. Microsoft Mathematics add-in. We know n equal to 4, 9, 6 plus e power 5 over 2 plus 3t minus 2t e 5 over 2. Let me copy this expression again because I will need this later on. So I copy it somewhere here. Now let's go to mathematics and then equation. So I put t equal 5 in the expression. So now notice that the multiplication sign is not there. So sometimes this could be a bit confusing. So if I want to be more precise, I should put a multiplication symbol into this expression between this. Let me compute them. Compute. Then the Microsoft Word 2007 mathematics are in allow me to calculate. And you find that this is equal to 511 minus 6 e power 5 over 2, which is what Microsoft Word 2007 mathematics that it will give you. So what is actually this numerical value? I will need the calculator. So let me call my calculator. So I have 511 minus 6 times e power 5 over 2 equal I will, be, I will get around 437.9 or 438. So let me write this is about 438. So the number of fruit fries after 5 days is about 438. Now let's look at the third part. Well, all the fruit fries in the jar die, is so when? We know that since the sugar syrup is limited, therefore, all the fruit fries will die in the end. But how long it takes for all the fruit fries die? To solve this, we put n equal to 0, then you solve for t. Usually, you may need a Newton's method to solve t, but Microsoft Word 2000 Mathematics Add-in can help you to find t. So let me go back to my Microsoft Word 2000. So this is my expression for n. So let me copy this expression for n here and do some calculation. Put 0 equal to 496 plus 4e power t over 2 plus 3t minus 2t e power t over 2. Then I create mathematics equation and I want to press click compute. Now the expression intelligent for us to solve for t. So I click solve for t and then it tell me t about 7.65 days. So that means for all the fruit fries to die you need to wait about 8 days. All right? So you find that t equal to about 7.65. So that is after 8 days n equal to 0, all the fruit fry dies.
This finished the recording to illustrate how to use Microsoft Word 2000 Mathematics add-in to solve this differential equation.